Welcome to Gatri's Cook Spot. I am Gatri Kumar and today I'll show you how to make leopard print on a mirror glazed cake. You can check the recipe at the description box below. This cake has one single layer of uh, eggless tutti frutti cake frosted with dark chocolate ganache. For more interesting recipes you can visit gatriscookspot.com. First let us make the cake. To flour, add sugar, baking powder, baking soda and salt. Whisk it well until well combined. Now add oil, curd, milk and vanilla essence. Whisk until a smooth and thick batter forms. Now add a little bit of flour to Tutti Frutti and mix it well. This prevents the Tutti Frutti in drowning to the bottom of the cake. Add it to the batter and mix it well. Keep your cake tins ready. Pour it onto the lined cake tin. And bake in a preheated oven for 30 to 40 minutes until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Invert the cake onto the wire rack. Remove the tin. And remove the lining paper. Allow it to cool completely and wrap it in two or three layers of cling film. Place the wrapped cake into the same cake tin which you used to bake the cake and refrigerate for at least three to four hours until the cake is firm. Now remove the cake from the fridge and trim the top of the cake with a serrated knife. I will be using dark chocolate ganache to frost the cake. You can check my video recipe in the channel. Cut a cardboard to the size of the cake and place it below the cake before starting the frosting. I missed doing that and so I had a tough time pouring the glaze and removing, removing the cake from the wire rack. So please do not miss it. Now add some simple syrup on the cake and let it soak. Add the cha dark chocolate ganache and spread it with the spatula. Add more frosting. And fill the sides. The 
there is a detailed video on how to frost a cake so please take a look at that keep on adding ganache and use a dough scraper to get a neat finish Clean the sides of the cake. Remove the excess ganache. After finishing the frosting, refrigerate the cake for 10 minutes. Now you can see that the top of the cake is little bumpy. Let us finish it after 10 minutes. This is the refrigerated cake. Take a bowl of hot water, dip your spatula in it and wipe it in a cotton cloth. Now using that hot spatula, press on the frosting. The heat of the spatula will melt the chocolate in the ganache and create a smooth finish. Keep on dipping your spatula in hot water and wiping in the towel until the cake has a smooth finish. Once it is done, freeze the cake for 3 hours. You need the cake to be quite firm while pouring the glaze. Now let us make the glaze. To sugar, add water fresh cream cocoa powder mix it well and heat it until it comes to a boil once it starts boiling remove it from the heat to wet gelatin add water Mix it well and set aside for 5 minutes. This is the hot uh, cocoa and sugar mixture. To this, add dark chocolate and mix it until the chocolate melts. Add the bloom gelatin also to this mixture. And keep on stirring until the chocolate melts and a glossy liquid is formed. Pour it into a sieve and strain the liquid. And let it sit until this is the glaze. To neutral glaze, add white gel color and mix it well. This is for the leopard print. You can uh, get neutral glaze in shop. Divide it into two. And to one part, add yellow. And to the other part, add yellow and some red to make orange you can use any color here I have used gel color but you can also use liquid colors mix it well and add little water to both the glazes to thin it out you don't want thick glaze for this
place the cake on a wire rack and pour the glaze on top. We have kept it with the spatula because I didn't uh, add a cardboard base to the cake. If you had a cardboard base, it would be very easier for you. Pour it evenly so that the glaze coats all the sides of the cakes. Tap it so that the excess glaze flows out and collect it in the tray below. Now in a spatula, take uh, half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of the neutral glazes we made and slightly mix it up and place it on the cake and just make a swipe. It should be swiped only once and you can see the leopard print is done on the top. That's it. This is very easy. Just shake the cake to uh, remove the excess glaze and you can transfer this cake to your cake board. Again, if there was a cake base to the glazed cake, it would be very easy for you to transfer it to the cake board. As you can see, I struggled a little to transfer the cake. Now remove the excess glaze and add chocolate vermicelli to the base. Just sprinkle it around the base of the cake and then with the spatula just press it against the cake. After doing this all around the cake, you can just tap the cake board to remove the, those egg. Now your cake is ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel and like my video 